Welcome to my channel, Planet Maserati. I'm going to be doing a Joanne's haul. So what I got from there, um, it was a really good deal today. Oh, my garbage can. Okay. So yes, it was a really good deal today that I got. I did go ahead and buy the notebooks, the classic size. Reason being is because I can use the inserts in my everyday carry, you know, classic planner when I use it. Right now I'm not using it because it is undated. So what I'm looking to do is, let me fix this real quick. Because I feel like you're not getting the whole picture. Let me bring it just down just to tap it. Maybe we move the, there you go. It looks better, I think. Let me know in the comments if it does. I know you can see it now because the comment, uh, one of the comments, you know, they told me about it, which is great. Thank you for letting me know that because that is good to know. Um, okay, so into this, this is the, and I'm rambling on and I should have told you what this is. It is the Happy Notes 60 Sheets. Okay, so me, I don't think the sheets are worth it, you know, just alone. But because you do have the dividers and you do have 60 sheets, you do have the cover and you do have the discs and it's on sale, that makes it worth it. So I went ahead and bought two. This one here is my daughter, so I will show you this one. And this one is mine with the gorgeous yellow. I don't know, I was feeling yellow for some reason because yellow is in right now, I was feeling it. And it reminds me of my mom's house. Okay, so with this one. I can kind of show it to you this way right now. This is the Me and My Big Ideas lined paper. She had to have lined paper. So I'm just going to get my little crazy scissors I have. And it's the Happy Notes, of course. 60 sheets. It is the classic size. 7 inch by 9 and, and 1 quarter. So it's 9.25. The Happy Planner, of course. And then that's what it looks like. So it comes with this little sticky tabby thing. Which I'm going to help her remove. She'll probably leave it on there. For years. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know when she'll take it off. So this is the Life is Lovely. And it's gorgeous cover. You have the blue with the white and the black. I love the fact they went outlined in here. With the watercolor behind it. It feels weird. Like it was sitting on their shelf for a long time. Okay, so like I was saying, like the watercolor color. The watercolor color. The watercolor is behind it, so it gives you color in the roses and the flowers, but then it gives you the white, which is pretty cool. And then it has gold foiling with the wording. So I'm going to lift it up so you can see the gold foiling. As you can see, you can probably barely read it with the glare. Okay, so this is pretty simple. This is just paper, cover, divider ring. She has the black rings to go with it. So with the divider, which I'm holding because I have so much little crap that's driving me crazy. I was trying to find all my washies. I'm working on a project, which I'll show you in a second. I've already worked on the November, October, November for the, my everyday bullet journal type planner, which is, this is November. Um, getting off track, but I, I'll show you a few pages of this. So again, black cover, white leaves, and then when you get in it, it comes, of course, with the sleeve, so you can have your paper protected. I've noticed with the paper like this, people were taking the sleeve off of that, which was ridiculous. Okay, so you get the notes from Mambi, and then where to find them. I know this is kind of like sideways towards you. I mean, I'm sure you can still see it. So on your first divider, looks like this. It's in green and white. Let me see if the light will show better for you. No, that's ooh, way too bad. So this is the, there is a lot of beauty in ordinary things. It's white. I wish they would have did it in black to make that pop. 
but they did it in white. But I really do. I wish they would have made at least this in black to match this. Because you have the leaves in white, leaves in white, but you should have did this piece just in black. That's your first divider, and it's just simple gray with stripes. So that's kind of cute. Your first page, well, all your pages, will be lined. But do you see the little flowers on the side? Isn't that so cute? So it's lined paper. Again, 60 sheets. So who knows how many they did on one side. It's probably 20, 20, and 20. Most likely. So your next divider is like a peachy coral color, I would say, with the floral. And then again, the back of this says Futi is all around. Which don't make any sense. Futi. Instead of beauty is all around. It says Futi. I wonder if that's a typo. Because what is Futi? I know beauty is all around, but what about Futi? So I'm curious to know if that's a typo. If not, I just never heard that word. And then you have another 20 sheets. And then the next one is Life is Lovely. Which is the, it's like a tannish color. With the olive green tabs. Which the tabs are laminated just like the Happy Planner is. And Life is Lovely. That's pretty. See how this pops out of the page. I wish they would have did that to the other one. But this isn't mine. This is hers. Beautiful little leaves. For some reason, I just don't see it showing it to you all. You know what to do? Let me move this. This has been getting on my nerves. This is my Recollections pen case. Which I have to do a video of. Show you what I'm using now. And now my computer can move over. So here you go. So now you can see it. And then the back is just, of course, your back cover. Live creatively. And then your back divider. I mean your back. I like they put something here to hold the sleeve, but do they have to use that? And then here is your back of your cover. It says the happy planner, me and my big ideas. It looks like they got bigger with that. I think they should have inserted something here. I think it's a little made too plain. It's plenty of, you know, like you have plenty of room to do something, but then it does look pretty, but it just looks like it's not completed to me. I don't know. It could be just me. So with the cost of this is $9.99 for the classic, the original price, and it was 30% off, so I got it for $6.99. But that's not even the better deal. So I'm going to explain the better deal in a second. This one is mine. This is my baby. <laughs> but mine I'm going to probably most likely take apart. I want the yellow rings to be, I don't know. I'm thinking of what I could do with the yellow rings. So let me take this apart again. This is the Happy Notes. I'm just moving this real quick. I liked mine that was simple. So this is the my me and my big ideas dot grid paper. I like the dot grid. Happy Notes 60 sheets. Again, same size, seven and nine and a quarter. The Happy Planner. If you don't know how to punch your inserts this is a good template for this size if you have a smaller mini which I have right here hopefully nothing falls because I don't want to be embarrassed you would have this is the mini this is my undated book as you can see this is all undated except for the back like the January these are the ones I did Uh, did I complete them? Uh, some of these may be 2019. So I do have to go back in and check because I do have 2019 in here. As well as the ones that I already have done. 
But with this is what I'm saying is you can use this, line it up. You have two rings that will not have anything for the mini. And this is your template for the mini. So this is good to use if you need to hole punch instead of using that Mambi one that gets on my nerves. And then the arc one I, I heard is smaller in the the way the width is for the discs. So this one here is mine again. Hello Happiness. Simple with the little polka dots. I thought it was very cute. Very yellowish. And then look at the inside. Look at how that pops. That's seriously just like wham popped at me. So I love this one. Like this one was one of my favorites. Okay, take that off. Again, it comes with the same thing. A little introduction to the Happy Planner world. Let me lift this up so you can see it. So your first divider is your quotation. Or no, what is this? Exclamation point. Can't talk today. So they use the like the coral color, pinkish color for your tab is laminated. This is your back, which it kind of does not go together. Like it's seriously, this pink does not match this, but it's okay. Then you have the yellow, that was a text, sorry. The yellow polka dots to match your yellow. And again, oh, too bright. If I add a little bit of light. I'm seeing the channel. It is like not dark out, but it looks dark in my room. And I have light on. So it's just dot like a dot grid in yellow, which is cool. And front and back is the same. This one says, let's sleep in. Very cute. Dividers? I, don't, I mean, not the dividers, the tabs. I don't know if I would have put that color there. Let me know what you think of that color. Being on a high, bright yellow. But then it matches the back. So I guess it could be. So this is the back of that one. You get more. 20 sheets more. Just trying to grab it with my hands all up in your way. And that's hola, bonjour, cheers, hello. Hola, bonjour, cheers, hello. And then you have like a golden yellow. I wish they would have did the bright yellow. I think that would have been pretty cool. My daughter did this color now. Wanting to really do this color now. And then this reminds me of... I have a little tiny recollections planner that's a traveler's notebook that is the exact same pattern which is crazy which now I cannot find yeah if I see it I'll take a picture of it Anyway, it's the exact same pattern. If you know the Recollections ones, the Mini Travelers, that's what this is. The exact same pattern. And then you have your dot grid again. Your back cover. Which is very pretty. I love the back cover. I love the, the inside covers and I love the outside cover. And then this is the back of the outside cover. And it's just simple. Now to me, that looks complete. You have the dots, the happy planner, and you have the little yellow that's in the happy planner. Because on this one, it's more of a brighter yellow here than it is here. Yeah, so it's more of a brighter yellow here. And this is my haul. So let me show you, I just going to do a quick little flip of my bullet journal that I've been working on for November. 
it's not even nowhere near done, but I want to show you how simple I do mine. And it's not really a bullet journal because I don't go bullet journals like like the steps of bullet journal, but it's kind of like a I guess a bullet journal. So line paper, which I like because I cannot write draw stickers straight. And then let me just show you what I do. So I leave a couple pages blank just in case I want to mess with it. I leave a couple pages blank. I just put a little 2018. I want to put November here. So I'll probably draw November. Then I just use the Happy Planner Novembers from all the old sticker books that I get. Or not, yeah, sticker books, the undated minis, and stuff like that. So I use that. I will date them 1 to 30. One is my gratitude, one is my overall or the overview. Left a couple pages blank. Then I do my loving. So this is going to be currently going down. And then I'm still not done with it. I have to find more stickers. And these are just stickers from the Happy Planner books. And that's how I do it. I do kind of like a Dutch door, but a longer version of a Dutch door. If that makes sense. So if I'm planning here, I can look to see this. So I leave one sheet blank is basically what it is. And then I just go in, put some stickers. I'm not done, like I said. I just randomly stick stickers. I kind of go like color-wise, but then some of them I don't. And I just do simple, simple book with stickers and you have your own little planner is what I call it. And this is like an everyday, this is my daughter's birthday. So I just went ahead and did a theme for her. And then I just go in and write. This is my everyday like, bullet journal, but not bullet journaling. Okay. So it's just simple. And it's, I do the whole month. I don't wait a week. I just skip the page. I'll always skip one page. I learned I like it better. So I can do my meal plan, my grocery list, my top three or whatever I need to do on this side. If I don't have room here, I have room here. I just fold it in. I can do the next week's meal plan while I'm planning and then have it ready. So that's what I basically do to this one. This is my November. I'll show you one more real quick. This is my birthday month, so I left a whole book for me. This is October, and I love the colors together, so I picked this for October. It says Dream Big. My sticker went crooked. It was so sad. It says Do Your Thing. I put the sticker there. I put stickers here, here, and here. So I just randomly put a sticker. This will be October. I want it to go bigger, but I'll put I'll decorate it here. I'm gonna try to Google, like not Google, uh, Doodle. It says make your, uh, make it life you love. Then here's October, my birthday, so it's the 17th. So my birthday's on the 17th. I'm just playing, but yeah. And then this is my overview. So I did it on two pages this time, which I may do the other one on two pages because I did leave a page blank. Again, my currently will be here. My what I like currently and then this is how I decorate it for October again I did the door just a simple fold and then you can see so it's a day on a page with an extra page so I guess you would say a day on two page and then that's exactly what I do I use the time slots on some pages, I just use what I have, my stickers, little stickers, like washi tape stickers. I just use what I have, and then I'll show you my birthday. How I decorated that. I never show these books, and I just wanted to come on and show you real quick. So there you have it. That's what I did for my birthday. Pretty much the same thing as hers, just a smaller book, and it looks cute. So then I have all these pages to play with. 31st, throw in some color, my little spooky, eat pie, I think it's Halloween. 
And then I can do whatever I want on this. Doodle, whatever. Uh, journal, whatever I want to do on this section. This will be my own book. And then this one will just go October, December, and then whatever months will fit in here. So this is my haul and a little flip through of my books. I don't know what you call it. Bullet journaling, not bullet journaling. So please give this a big thumbs up, subscribe, share with your family and friends. As always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.